So, we've finally got some clear skies and I've ventured out with Simon. We've come to Orford, uh, which is the Suffolk coast. And uh, we're actually here early enough with a bit of light. So we're gonna get our drones up and then we're gonna find some spots and get some nice astro if any luck. It's so bright, I've got sunglasses on. That makes a change. But uh, yeah, we've had such dim weather of recent. It's nice to get an opportunity, but it's beautiful here. just said that the temperature's too low, <laughs> the camera will start working when it warms up. Yeah, well, so it's cold. I'll agree with your camera, my hands are freezing. There's Orford Castle out there. Beautiful sunset, look at that. going to be a good night I think we've got a great location and uh, we need to scout out now some uh, shots and see what we can capture right all good Blue hour's just coming to an end. All the people with their annoying lights and cars are going home, which is always a good sign. And uh, I'm just gonna set up this now, which is, I've got a camera and lens for Christmas, the Samyang 85 millimeter F1.4. And I've attached to that the ZWO 533 MC Pro. So what my plan is, is using the Nomad Star Tracker. I'm going to get that polar aligned and I'm going to track the sky and try and get Barnard's loop. So we're going to get Orion and the Horsehead Nebula all involved at the same time. And while this is running, I'm hopefully going to use my Canon 6D and get a nice composite on something and try and do a really nice star trail. I think I'm going to use the water and possibly there's some... Uh, rotten driftwood over there some boats about i'm going to pick something and uh and go for that if you can see what I'm about to show you but Simon and I have ventured up to Orford Castle. I'm just going to shine this torch towards it and hopefully that will give you a bit of a look. 
and what we're hoping to do is get to the top of the hill and we're going to shoot to the south and try and get a ride and then I'm going to do hopefully either a time lapse or star trail to the north with the castle in the foreground. Uh, so we uh, decided to move away from the quay. Unfortunately, there was a couple of boats there with lights on, one with a particularly bright light. There was also a few houses with some external lighting on. I think Christmas and everything, people like to light everything up, and uh, but it wasn't very good for us with the um, for the Astro. So here's a much quieter area. A couple of lights down there, but that's not a problem. And it's lovely and dark, so we're going to see what we can get from here. So uh, we shall set up and hopefully capture some nice stuff. After quite a lot of mucking about, we're finally at a lovely location. I've got Orion and the horse head being imaged there, which I'm really pleased about. Um, typical, I forgot the means of a lometer up there at Orion, but uh, I'm going to actually put my drone up and see what the night vision is like on it. And we're taking some stills of the castle with Milky Way over the top, so it's coming out really nice. So, a little bit of a battle, but we finally got imaging, so all good. I keep getting loads of warning on my cameras. It's so cold, God, that wind is cold, um, that it's nothing wants to work well it does want to work but i've gone for a different kind of shot i'm hoping to try and shoot up the castle and get the stars above it i'm not sure how it's going to come out but unless you try you'll never find out oh it's windy up here Brr. So I'm laying on my back in the grass. Luckily I'm in some very warm clothes. Uh, trying to check the picture, that's not the right button. Oh wow. Sometimes it's worth just experimenting a little bit. You can uh, get some interesting shots but what's amazing is laying down here looking up the stars are absolutely astonishing it's such a beautiful view it's a very dark area it's lovely here this castle is very interesting as well nice and quiet so it's nice to be able to get out and have some fun Absolutely gorgeous night tonight. As you can see, just above me here, we got the Ryan, uh, and i am uh, got a camera on that, imaging a Ryan with uh, the horse head and the fame nib here. So uh, I'm, that should come out quite nicely, I'm hoping. But uh, it's been a really beautiful night. I mean, it's so clear. It is uh, quite exceptional, and uh, but super cold as well. But uh, yeah, we can take that.
Right, well Simon's just packing the last bits away of his. We've had a fabulous night uh, with uh, Orford Castle behind us. Um, been fantastic actually. The sky has been super clear. We've, uh, a pair of us have forgotten a load of gear, the usual sort of thing. But we've had a fantastic time. The sky has been really kind. I mean, it's very cold, but we've had some uh, lovely, lovely starfield skies. Really, really good seeing. Very clear. And I'm really hoping that we've got some lovely images from it. And uh, thanks ever so much for coming along with us. And uh, until next time, hope you enjoy the images. And of course, clear skies.